I would like to say that I've tried to maintain work-life balance. It's a never, a never ceasing balance to try to strive for. And I think as a manager, it's easy to say things in terms of you need to take time off. You need to look after your own well-being if I'm talking to an employee. It's not always easy to do it yourself. Leading by example is something that is important. And it's something that we can also, all leaders could do a better job of. What you say is also what you should be doing. The empathy that you may show to others, the care, the compassion that a leader is expected to, to have for their workforce should also be the same care and compassion that they express to themselves and to their own home life. When it comes to stress, stress is one of those it's an interesting and somewhat controversial topic. Because in a startup, there's always stress. You're always trying to, to get to the next day, to get to the next milestone. That sense of, of responsibility is ever present. And that sense of responsibility is something that you feel even more because you know all the employees that are working with you, their jobs are on the line. The, the product is on the line. Everything is on the line. A certain level of stress is healthy because it keeps you on your toes, it keeps you thinking, it keeps you out front, anticipating. I use stress to anticipate, play out scenarios in my mind of how things could go or potentially would go so that I can actually help the teams organize plans around how to mitigate or find the right path through a challenge. You know, in that sense, it's, it's healthy, it's, it's a choice, you know, when you work for a company that's constantly innovating, that's constantly trying to evolve and, and grow. But the balance, the, the reciprocation that has to be there against the stress is the opportunity to, to really take time for yourself, you know, to disengage. We offer unlimited PTO, for example, and this is something that was, it's strange in a sense that the studies actually show that when you offer that, people may take less PTO. So recently we've actually mandated a minimum PTO. So folks are required to take so much time off every year just to try to balance against some of the data that we've seen in terms of people taking time off. And some folks do a great job of taking advantage of that and we encourage that, it's, it's really exciting. We have a, a channel, a Slack channel, in fact, it's called Vicarious Vacations where people get to post pictures of all of their doings outside of, of the office as they take time off. And hopefully that encourages others to do the same and think about taking some time off for themselves. I'm James Townsend and those were my notes on innovation.